Good afternoon to you. We begin today with breaking news. Two men arrested in Detroit and they're accused of being connected to a large drug trafficking operation in northern Michigan. 7 Action News reporter Shelley Childers is live with the details for us now. Shelley. Those two men were arrested this morning after police served two warrants. The detective on this case tells us they've been searching for each one of these men for the past three to four years. We just watched as each one of them were brought out of the Michigan State Police Metro Post here in Oak Park. They're going to be transported separately to northern Michigan where they face their charges. We were there as Michigan State Police investigators seized evidence from a home on Detroit's east side. This is the 2000 block of Cadillac near Jefferson Avenue. Inside, they found heroin, drug trafficking evidence like packaging and a handgun. One suspect was arrested inside this house. A second was found walking around Detroit. The suspects were transported here to the Michigan State Police Metro Post, and now they're going to be transported north, like I just mentioned. Detective Lieutenant Daniel King says the two are responsible for heroin and cocaine distribution throughout northern Michigan. He asked us to hide his face for his protection earlier when we spoke with him. Through our investigation, it led us to individuals and witnesses that notified us that these people were located here, and this is where they were operating out of. How big was their operation? Well, for Northern Michigan, these individuals were bringing over 50 grams of heroin to Northern Michigan at a time. They're the runners. So for every one gram of heroin, there's 10 doses. Police are not releasing their names yet or what charges they face because they have not been formally arraigned, but we know they each face at least a dozen criminal counts. This was a joint operation between Western Wayne Narcotics Task Force and the Traverse Narcotics Team, which covers eight counties in northern Michigan. Reporting live from Oak Park, Shelley Childers, 7 Action News. Shelley, thank you. We have